passionate, compassionate, grateful, loving, humorous. My cultural identity background is um, Afro-Australian, so uh, born in Australia, but my parents are from Ghana, and Ghana is kind of like a high life, so there's a lot of culture, the culture's big about, big about families, big about culture, big about music and, and, and rhythm. Um, I guess my identity um, lies in the fact that I'm very passionate, I'm very sort of family oriented, um, I'm very big on rhythm and music, uh, and that kind of combination makes kind of a big part of who I am. Growing up um, in a place where not many people experienced or came in contact with Africans, I was, you know, primary school in particular, I was told, ask silly ignorant questions like, is your black, is, is, is your blood black, or is, you know, is your skin real, or things like, things like that that people would ask because they weren't, they didn't know how to, um, you know, to associate or connect with people of different cultures uh, often. So that kind of made me sad as a kid because I didn't know how to express that. Um, and people would say silly things like, you know, you know, do you ride elephants back home and things like that. And it was like, oh, well, do you ride kangaroos here? I mean, it's, it's kind of kind of real, real kind of a sad thing, but it was based mainly on ignorance. Midnight, charcoal, pellet top stick, ugly, dumb. I kind of, I kind of like, um, I like the word more embracing, uh, abrasive, you know, more embracing. Because toler tolerance sometimes refers to putting up with, I mean, it's a definition. And I think our culture is progressed more than tolerance, but it's more embracing and, and accepting. Two things, have a culture of inclusion. Um, I think so many times we might see someone who looks different or look at their circumstance and go, well, they can't be part of our group. And I think having a culture of inclusion in, in the organisation really allows more people to participate. And I think celebration, I think we don't celebrate enough. We do, but I think sometimes we should just celebrate culture and celebrate people more. And I do encourage that in any organisation. Mm -hmm.